Welcome, YouTube. We are playing. Welcome back, Penguin. We're playing uh, a, a Sonic game that was made as like a April Fool's bit or something. But it's so cool because they, they I don't know what it is with, uh, with, with like April Fool's and certain games. But look how clean this looks, right? Like it looks so good. And so often people like game companies will just make amazing april fool stuff there's an amazing april fool's update for minecraft which we're gonna be playing tomorrow there's like for kfc they made the valentine's day game like they make so much good like dude we eat so good <laughs> on these like minor holidays because it's all free stuff this game's free it's called the murder i'm sorry you guys can't even see it give me a sec <laughs> let me see if i can just should i move my camera a little bit give me a sec i forgot how to do things um yeah um that's the wrong one there we go. You guys can see the uh, murder Sonic the Hedgehog real quick. Uh, and then we'll bring the camera back. But, yeah, we're going to be playing this. Uh, and then tonight we're playing Stranded Deep. But for you guys on YouTube, you saw it yesterday. It came out yesterday because of the, the way that things worked out. So, uh, Stranded Deep came out yesterday. This is coming out today for you guys. Um, and then I think earlier today would be the minecraft stream oh okay that works out yeah my my vod schedule is a little bit weird <laughs> because of uh i've been streaming so much and i've had so many vods i've been trying not to post them all at once let's start a new game and see who murdered sonic the hedgehog phew made it on the train 50 minutes ahead of schedule so far so good for my first day on the job oh i totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet i should make one i'll just sign my name here my name is Awi. Awi. <laughs> there we go. Awi. Did I spell that right? <laughs> yeah. Whole passages can read my scribble. We're playing chess, golf, Greta, and we were playing different games. Yeah, I, I was gonna join, but I I woke up so late, guys. Call it, calling it now. This dude looks like you. The fuck, bro? What? This guy? The, the guy, the, 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 the one who's got the image here? I hope there's a big plot twist that you killed Sonic. I hope not. I didn't do it. I'm not a murderer. Welcome, Roth. <laughs> oh, am I nervous? Is this, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Ollie. Shake it off. <laughs> okay. Ollie, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? M m Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite all right myself. Don't feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing like this, like this anime girl voice. <laughs> you look like a furry? Okay, I, I don't think so. I think I look like a real human, real human being. I'm a real boy. <laughs> well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got a plane ticket. It's just begonia love. I don't know why I always lose my mind with these voices. I love doing the voices. These games are some of my favorites. Our showers been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Sorry, I'm like shuffling my seats so much. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. The menu, uh, the Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken corn blue. Yo, can I get some instant ramen over here? Please? YouTube, tell Ari in the comments they look like the main character in this game. I disagree. Shut up. Shut up, Yuto. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though, I'm oh, sure, blah, blah, blah. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, you. Chicken cordon blue. Chicken cordon blue, sir. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay. Fa ha ha ha. I don't know why he laughs like that. What the hell is wrong with this guy? A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. 
Just a microwave? <laughs> no way, that would be so soggy and nasty. I don't eat chili dogs, so I wouldn't know. Even murder. We we serve murder on this train. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being vi vi wistful. <laughs> I got I got through it. <laughs> this train is exclusively used for, the, for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my ten years conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as the home base, so to speak. It's always, bro, it's always dinner. You always eat dinner and something gets murdered. I don't know why. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. You understand? I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> oh, so not an actual murder, I hope? Well, it says someone murdered Sonic. So, or the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I'm going to assume someone's actually murdered. We'll see. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Choo-choo. It did it. it. It did the choo-choo, kind of. It's high speed and high tech. So it did a, more of a ding-ding. Wow. Wait, what does Ch Tails sound like in the games? And stuff. Not in the games, but like in the show and stuff. I haven't watched the new movie. I gotta watch uh, Sonic 2 still. So. Wow! This train is incredible! What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails! <laughs> I can get used to staying on a train like this! What, what did I tell you all to expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. There's no way I'm remembering any of these voices. This train is and this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything though. Calm down there, rogue. Did I not just catch? <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> Clickwell's live. Wow. I hope he's doing well. Calm down, rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? They're giving me way too many characters. I'm losing all of them. For, a, for her birthday, no one dies? No, someone dies? No way. What cast- what, 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 what cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Ollie. You're sweating through your uniform. <laughs> hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Right- uh, Wait. Radio, friend! <laughs> well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Yo, that's such a mood. <laughs> Uh, uh, I already lost it. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. Goral. My man Sonic going for the dog. Let's go, bro. Sonic loves the dog. Sonic got his dogs out at all times. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, are we? Won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. <laughs> okay, let's talk to it left to right. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Uh, okay. I think that's a ticket, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems Mr. Conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> you can't. I think that's against TOS Penguin. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. Can I get your ticket, ticket, youngin? Ah, oh, it's nice and crisp. Right here, sir. Th th thank you. May I off? May, may I off? May, 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 may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No, no way. I brought my own spark. They literally are just like. <laughs> they're just like those talking Tom <laughs> phone app or whatever. No way, I brought my own- <laughs> I feel like I lost the voice for this guy. No, no, no way, I, I, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely, if you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Yeah, real normal tales. Ticket, please. Ah, nice crisp ticket. Thank you kindly, happy to have someone as renowned yourself as on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. Oh, <laughs> uh, sparkle gelatin sounds nasty. No, you're so true. Sparkle gelatin is like a lollipop in the Sonic universe. In the Sonic universe? Interesting. 
Ari, Tails doesn't sound like that. Yeah, that sucks. Now it does. Now, now Tails does. I just had like the, the most quiet burp ever. When Eggman took over, I truly fear the worst, but my kid swore you'd swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your friends and family are safe. <laughs> I don't know why he became a surfer, bro. <laughs> Wait a second, is is he is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. So the conductor's definitely the murderer, right? Surely. Y yes have f fun now. Will do. Thanks. I mean, look at the conductor. He, like his face is mostly covered. Surely that's the murderer, and he's actually Eggman and quiet. Look. Right? Am I wrong? Could we please see your ticket? Uh, which one was this one? Was this the one that I tried to make like a British or Scottish accent? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> He's kind of weird, I can see it. Yeah, I think that's... Off the bat, we're voting conductor for uh, the murder. Uh, of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calm... Th wait, wait. <laughs> Th there's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming. He's looking right at me. I study nin ninjutsu. <laughs> I don't know why I messed up on that word. You person. Is, is, this, is this a person that's never been seen in a Sonic game or something? Is this like a truly new person? I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through a subconscious. W wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. I'm scared of him. He, lo he looks nice. Can you cling to onto walls? Cl cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that a answer. Okay. Crocodile. He must know who the murderer is right away. Probably. Maybe he is the murderer. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> As a gentleman of upstanding moral, <laughs> I'd love to show you my ticket. <laughs> He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? Oh, I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. <laughs> Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't hear. Um, I must place my ticket. I don't know where it is. He, he's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Thank you, the middle. <laughs> Thanks, the middle. Zen, what's up? Vector's now Goofy. That's honestly who I was like. I was bringing Goofy into it, and then I just made Goofy worse than Goofy already is. <laughs> Seems as though we should keep an eye out peeled for his ticket out there. Uh, Amy. Could I please the birthday girl? Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> you yelled that so loud. Yeah. <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And I think you... <laughs> I should probably read this faster so I can actually get through this in time to get through Stranded Deep. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. <laughs> I feel like they they should like they should just call out one podcast and give them a shout out for no reason. M maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Is that a gun? Oh, it's a key. <laughs> My bad. Real American of me. That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Th the birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. Very, very useful. Oh, will you? Wait, no. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. If I type in caps. If I type in caps, will you shout everything? Yeah, until my parents get back. <laughs> oh. Hey, Shadow. You're my favorite. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is, is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, oh, uh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That's, that's there. Brr, so cold. Oh, you're shivering. Do you want me to sh fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, I'm good. May I, may I have your ticket, please? Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. 
A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess? Did she just say princess? Imp and Skiz podcast gets a shout out. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I don't even. I didn't even know they had one. I uh. I yeah. I don't know much about them honestly. I was just watching Double Life. They're very funny. Everyone's very funny in that. I love it. If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A, a separate dimension, actually. A separate what now? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll pop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this one more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, ho, you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Please get up. But why can I not win with this group? <laughs> I don't think it went that bad. Do you know that Ari is awesome and that they made an amazing best of February video with more best of months videos to come? Thank you, Zen. It just hit 100 views on YouTube, I think. It's a little weird. For some reason, on the YouTube studio, it doesn't say- It says 100! Never mind, I'm a liar. It just says 100 right now. You're like, yay! We officially hit 100, but I saw it last night and it hit 100 on YouTube. But on the YouTube studio, it didn't say it yet. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Honestly, it's very hard to hit a, a, a hundred. Um, you didn't shout it? Oh my bad, I forgot. Do you know that art is awesome and that they made amazing best of it with more of the best of his, best of his uh, videos to come? There we go, thank you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's very hard to get a hundred views on a video that's 30 minutes old on a channel that doesn't have like many viewers that also has like no, like, it doesn't have like some clickbait or anything, right? It's just best of February for me. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. There's going to be a bit of more like clickbaity video coming as in like, it's going to be like, oh, you know, my friends did this and it went like this or whatever, you know, not necessarily clickbait, just something that is more clickable. So there's going to be more of that coming hopefully, but the best of videos I like to keep more genuine and real. So those are just very simple. Uh, uh, what was this guy's voice? Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? I, he went British for some reason. My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Damn. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. Uh, I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> My friend typed everything in caps, so I shouted everything! Okay, I can't do that forever, but it's good for now. What else is there for me to do? Um, I feel like I've talked to everyone. Have I not? Oh, this guy. Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Are we? Those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Ali only gets one of those if they ask. <laughs> did, did the arm just kind of nod? I, actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Ha <laughs> good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. I'll probably leave it at that, maybe. I might randomly do it again. I'll see if I remember. Trat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. Have we talked to everything? And everyone. I think we have. Hmm. Oh, that's just the, uh... <laughs> okay. Chili dog ramen, chicken corn blue. Let's talk to the birthday girl again? I wonder what cake topper Sonic picked out for me. Uh, I bet it's a good one. I bet you're right. Can I take your order? No, thanks. I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring a cake for you? Yes, yeah, so that's Sonic's job. Funny, Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> Sonic, why'd you turn to look at the wall? Sonic? <laughs> uh, what's up, Ellie? Welcome, bro. When you kill Sonic, let's wait for- let's try to kill Sonic. Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy cake. What am I gonna do now? Uh, good luck with that. I'll figure something out. I mean, isn't this the cake? Uh, this is dialogue we've already had. Where's the cake? Where's the cake? Let's see if we can get anything else out of them. Can't get your order. I'll be back for that chili dog. From here, so she's yourself. It'll be on the house. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. Then how was he going to buy the chili dog earlier? <laughs> um, Where do we find some cake? Ooh, what are you? What's sticking out the napkin holder? 
Ah, oh, there it is. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Er, er, Ellie, did you know that if you type things in caps, Ari will shout it? Zen is smelly! I didn't say it. It wasn't me. It was me. Just like I didn't kill Sonic. A and let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Uh, who needed it? Who forgot? It was you. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Are we? Are we? Why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Uh, here you go. This one. Uh, <laughs> there it is. That's my ticket. <laughs> Thanks for so much to you both. Well, it was really worried you picked me up and I missed Murder Mystery. Oh, oh, oh are you here? Would have, I would have their hands full kicking you out. I took a shower literally a few hours ago. It worked. It didn't work. That's how it works. Y you're right. I want to leave without a flight. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? <laughs> You're both all right, my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. So this guy's definitely the murderer, yeah? My hair's still kind of damp, though. It's kind of pissing me off. Dude, honestly, I just took a shower, like, a couple hours ago, too, because I woke up at 4. By the way, Ellie, I totally missed half stream. Let me know how it went. I DM'd him, but he hasn't DM'd me back yet. I, um, I slept until, like, 4. <laughs> so, I hope it went well. I don't know if you actually joined Autcraft or if you were just in the chat, but... Uh, ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Uh, absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. I just DM'd him. If he didn't reply, he probably just hates you. Sick. Yeah, he just hates me. I think he's pissed. I think he's really angry and hates me because uh, I didn't show up today. No one hydrated me. I have to hydrate myself. Don't pop it now. If you pop it now, you're just a cheap. <laughs> I joined the call and I all signed a bunch of books for the kids. Yo, nice. It was fun. Yeah, dude. That's nice. I like that you can sign books in Minecraft from Ellie Beatmaker. That's actually really cool. And train? Assist Ollie if you need any if they need any help, won't you? Ha ha ha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. N nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. Local celebrity Ellie moment, yeah for real. He's the guy. He's the he's the big big man. The music just broke for a sec. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Ollie if here if you need anything. Sounds good! Absolutely. Absolutely. We will do. <laughs> Goodbye now. I like that guy. Short man, Ellie Beatmaker. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. You know what? There was just a TikTok a couple months ago that blew up about having like a kind of dinner party where all of the people dress up as certain things. They have lore cards and stuff and they have to like fulfill certain ta ta tasks throughout the, um, throughout the evening. And I don't know if this is based on that. It could be. But also, it takes a while to make games like this, I'm sure, so... But if it's based on that TikTok, that's actually really cool. I love this game so far. It's crazy that they made it free and just post it on April Fools. It's just awesome. I love I love game companies sometimes, because they just actually care about their fans and make stuff that they're passionate about. L lore cards? Th that must be the details of their motivations. I, I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out aloud, otherwise people would know the murderous intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters that will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes, makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably! Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rogue, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in a casino. Ooh. Free or cheaper than an ad campaign? You are kind of right, yeah. But, I mean, hey, if it's, it, it's a fun ad campaign. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Here's that, Espio! We get to hang out together! <laughs> 
and do what? Read? M maybe we can make a tower of books or something. <laughs> Thanks, Ellie. Free, more like Eggman. Now is your data and we'll use it to sell eggs to you. Oh no. <laughs> eggs are so expensive. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Uh, oh, I was listening. I, I hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station, everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. A map every... Uh, yep. Uh, before I do what I'm going to do, I'll say the killer is Amy 100%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Ellie just wants to hang out and chat, Stroke. Why can't you let him talk to me? It's my brother, bro. He just wants... Yeah, uh, Zen, time him out. <laughs> uh, you have to do slash timeout Ellie Beatmaker 120. Just so you know. I've got like 150 plus gifted subs today. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome. Huh, wait. Okay. Slash timeout Ellie Beatmaker, then 120. The 120 says 120 seconds, which is two minutes, which is how much it's supposed to be timed out. Yo, uh, I, Ellie, I know you're gone right now. That is honestly so awesome. Uh, congrats to him. Holy crap. Dude can buy a new chair now. That's great for him. Yeah. No, that's also that's that's awesome. Honestly, sick. I'm so sad I missed it. I I just need sleep. The rules of the game are as follows: There's a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Uh, however they choose. Be okay. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the chain and use it to integrate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused to inspect everything he can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for an hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? This sounds like everything. everyone's excited. Hydrate. Thank you, Penguin. You are the first sheep of the bunch. <laughs> I appreciate it. Everyone to your stations. I like how Amy has the normal voice, and then my character has, like, <laughs> a different voice. I mean, it is ah we, not Ari, so... Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses! Uh, I know, it's kind of scary! Oh, no, I like how thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? Sh should you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. M makes sense to me. Aoi sounds like you, Ari. Well, <laughs> is that Widowie Aoi? That's exactly why I did it like that, Zen. <laughs> it's Widowie Aoi hitting the Gwitty in Moto of Sonic the Hedgehog? So seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you- Oh, uh, crap, what's the tales? What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. D do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but, but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Uh, what's this game on, by the way? Uh, Steam. I just blocked Strictly so I don't need to see your messages anymore. Best decision. <laughs> Damn. When I played this game, I named my character Floopa Loopa. Love it. Uh, let's just tell Zen, uh, Steam, because Zen just got added. <laughs> uh, my lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh boy. Uh, the train started moving. It it's so fast, grab onto something. Oh, what's going on? Ah, I'm slipping. Oh, hold on. I can't! Uh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that honestly scared me. <laughs> my, <laughs> my own scream scared me so bad. I wasn't ready for it. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> your neighbor thinking your neighbor saying you've murdered two people in the past days already? Yeah, dude, honestly. 
I don't think they hear shit. It's fine. People like outside this window hear everything though, which is very funny. Uh, so if anyone was walking by, they just heard screaming. Also available on Egg Game Store, I assume uh, Epic Game. That's nice. Welcome back from the ads then. You're both awake. Y yeah. It seems like the train has slowed down considerably. I is everyone all right? Yeah, my team's a tip. My team's? My head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Zen, you missed uh, me screaming very loudly. It, it seems like we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually attended? It's, it's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Oh, wait, could you get the door? Uh, of course. Uh, hmm. It seems the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that w fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Uh, let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I, I know Amy. She's hiding something. H huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. L listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Listen, let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and integrate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. G gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. Uh, you missed our scream like they had to poop an ostrich egg. Uh, damn, I wish I didn't miss the murder. Our screaming sounds funny, to be honest. Dude, I gotta, um, I gotta get used to not screaming because my parents are coming back soon. And then I just won't be able to or they're gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god, someone's dying. Um, <laughs> so I gotta get used to not doing that all the time. Otherwise, they're gonna get pissed off. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our pain guests are well taken care of, okay? Understood. Understood. Okay. You can count on me, Tails. I, I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay. Uh, let's search this, I guess, first. This shelf is blocking our ex exit. It's clearly not budging. Hey, Ari, look closely at this. Are we? I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Okay. Um, this one. Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some uh, spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gen gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Someone just said there's no something I want to say to you, but no. Dude, I hate when people do that. I always roast the shit out of people who do that. W what do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave we meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only got, I've only had microwave lunches this week. That's so me. That's actually so me. Older gentleman, that was Roth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what a roast. Roth is actually younger than, like, Ellie. <laughs> Let's go for this. Something's always in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? It's hurting my, um, <laughs> my brain to keep doing this, these voices. What's this, a rod? Excuse me. I'm old, got arthritis. Um, yeah, Zen, I just ignore it, honestly. I was just ignoring when people say that. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. Uh, did I just, <laughs> I just clicked on Twitch, my bad. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if it's related to mystery, but I like spinning around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? Uh, I'll keep looking. Let's talk first. Find any clues yet? Oh, okay. Let's start the interrogation. I'll be 26 next month. Yo. Dang. Congrats. You're so old. <laughs> Just say K with a dot. I'll be 29 next month. Wait, May? Dang, you got a month left until you're like almost dead, bro. That's crazy. Crazy! I need a stretch. Give me a second, boys. Oh my god. Do I have. Am I adding a stretch channel points? Let me write that down if I don't have it written down already. I do. Sick. 
Yeah, I really need a channel point command to stretch because I, I just... Oh, I can feel myself getting uh, tired. Okay, let's get started. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. <sighs> what? You accused me of my own birthday? How dare you? Th this isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? A Amy was awake before our tails never. What could you have done in that time? Murdered a suspect, microwaved a t chili dog, or attempted to escape. I think attempted to escape. Some vibe. Amy gaslighting, Slay Queen. I don't think you were sitting idly while Awi and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Oh. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Awi, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Well, they said that this doesn't really matter. Uh, I would say this is most likely, you know? Ellie is grandpa. I hope not. He's too young to be grandpa. Could be dad, though. Um, yeah. We're gonna say this one, I think. Because this one... I don't know. When, when we were talking about this one, they were like, eh, I don't know if it's that important, but I want to keep it anyway. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I... Oh, well. Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. L like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. <laughs> uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. We always want to see real quick. Are there achievements? No, there aren't. Okay. Like Sonic would do. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, wazd and space. Okay. Oh, this is cute. I like this. I'm cracked out of my mind. What? I didn't realize I could jump. Can I jump? I actually didn't realize. I didn't realize I could jump. <laughs> <laughs> Ari, it hurts. I know what you were supposed to use. I think it was the broom, wasn't it? Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What would the shelf hit with then? This guy. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? There we go. I didn't jump last time because I didn't think about it. This is really cute. I like this. There we go. These are cute. It's 2D Danganronpa, but more like Murder on the Oregon Express. I don't, I don't know the other one, but I do know Danganronpa. It was the pole, but it was the pole hit it. I think both of it. I think it was both of them. There's an order of evidence in this game, which is neat. Yeah, so I feel like it was both of them. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer? Uh, ah, this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to sh hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, 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 uh. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one, shelf one big whack, and the handle, ha the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She, she does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, ham Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease here, and fixed. Tails, thank you. I don't think it's Oregon Express. I don't actually know what game we're talking about. I genuinely don't. Is it Oregon? Like, the place? I wouldn't know. They really did this to the birthday girl, can't believe it. Yeah, I know. 
According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The, the shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. All right. We keep schmoovin'. When do I get to see all the blood and guts of Sonic? Come on. Wait, is that... Yay! Sonic's dead! It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait, they really just... It's Orient Express, is it? I, yeah, I wouldn't know. It, they just... They just... Whizzed right past the fact that one of their friends is dead. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh, body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. S Sonic? Sonic? I is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds in him genuine? My hands are his wrist bound since a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is it part of the murder mystery or is this serious? So Sonic! Sonic! Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Owie. How do I do this? What do I do? What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Owie, for my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. I, I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. It's the Eggman. The Eggman's a killer. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We just got to the title screen. Hey, um, HSW, how far through the game am I? Because, um, we're 40 minutes into the recording. I didn't even notice, but we've been we've been here for 40 minutes and we just got to the title screen. <laughs> Saloon car. Well, look at this place. Uh, Amy, Amy, are you here? I've looked around. I don't see her. Hydrate. Thank you, Zen. I think Amy's already gone ahead. It seems like she's really excited. Do you need something for me? Uh, uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha 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 ha. You have still like 70% of the game left. Uh, if you want me to move the other thing and we just do Fall Guys Weekly's off cam. Do you want to cancel Stranded Deep and just do... Uh... The thing is, okay, I still want to do Stranded Deep. It just depends how long this takes. Because I thought it would be two hours and then I realized that I'm so slow in doing everything. Um, so yeah, if you if you want to just do Fall Guys Weekly's, I wouldn't mind that. But um, I also kind of want to do Stranded Deep. Let's see how long this takes. We have 70% of the game left, so we'll see how long this takes. If I can't make it to uh, Strain of Deep, we'll just cancel it. All good. We'll try again next week. I feel bad canceling two weeks in a row, though. <laughs> he, he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic really likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Tails isn't a girl. I honestly have no idea. He, he's big. Oh, he, yeah, no. He's uh, not a girl. Apparently. He, he's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I take along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I take along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you have, you've got me. Huh. <sighs> Fair. Let's see how fast you do the rooms. There's four rooms and there's some more story. Okay. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work on a case with me ditched our practice... Ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see... I, wait, what, I already lost. I already forgot it. I can see that. Amy moves it through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? 
varmints? Oh no. Oh no. We don't want that guy around. <laughs> I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems like we're off on our own. Oh, we, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were here, uh, while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Alright, let's do it! Okay. Trash. Something's always in the trash. Let's check there. Sorry, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have a little faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Huh? I think Tails is ignoring me. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Is that a Sega game? Are we? Yeah, are we. What's up, Fanny? Um, yeah, I, I decided to do all we. <laughs> do we think it's broke when the train sped up? The damage is like more to be ca caused from punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smash your case, I team. Okay. Glasses. Owie, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? One's got blood on it. Oh, lipstick. Right. <laughs> Welcome, Fanny. Everyone's very excited to see you. As always. Owie, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Everyone else must have been here. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Use cups or add to inventory. Okay. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find what really happened. No! Ah, oh, the bowl of certain nuts. A classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Seems like someone licked all the salt, uh, salt off them. W what? Blah. Patooey. Or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> okay, anything else? That's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. Pretty sure you can just climb over it. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. And you. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. This bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Don't tell me, but I think they killed Sonic. I didn't kill Sonic! <laughs> um... <laughs> Fan and knee? Is that what it said on uh, my captions or something? Or is that just what you're saying? <laughs> who's in charge of the train? The person who's on their last day. He's probably Eggman. Yeah, I agree. Because he also has... The arms. Doesn't Eggman have a bunch of tech? Like, high-tech stuff? I think this is all an Eggman thing. It's just a secret thing to get Sonic to come here to kill him. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Uh, please don't beat me up. <laughs> no promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. Uh, I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. I wish you luck. He he's not actually gonna fight me, right? Alright, let's, uh... Well, can I take your order? Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? C come on, Ari, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent, thank you, butler. D dang it! <laughs> That's so me. Then what are we hitting the Ollie on the twain? <laughs> Alright. You seem a little defensive about your lack of, lack of Sonic murders. I'm not a murderer! Start your interrogation. No, it was Ollie and I knew con determined what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. I it is? We have evidence, too. W we do? Oh, we take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Well... I'm gonna assume this, which he, he beat up the uh, Super Bunky Ball game after losing too many times. Saw we, are we? Oh, you're so funny! Risco said that to me like a hundred times. That's Risco's like favorite bit or something. The arcade machine, huh? What makes you think I touched that? All right, let's play. Let's play! I don't die, Sonic doesn't die. Sonic died. Sonic's getting hit, Sonic's hurting. Uh, well, uh, you see, you have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch, funny, Ari, let's, are we, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Uh, yeah. Those ring noises remind me of Fall Guys. Well, yeah, Fall Guys also has a, uh, Sonic game. So that makes sense, actually. Funnily enough, the people who made Fall Guys also have a murder mystery game. That's a lot like this one. Kind of cool. All the overlap. You killed Sonic? I DIDN'T KILL SONIC! I DIDN'T DO IT! This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... It's covered in punches. What evidence do you have that pu damages or punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? No, because you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? 
I need a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a certain urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us an our answer. How will you? I'm on it. I'll oh, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Oh god, oh god. You just killed him in the mini game? No, I would never. Okay, ow. God, oh god, this is getting more difficult to handle than. There we go. The map with the rings is a cloudy song. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sonic clearly cop copied Falling Dudes, of course. The, mach the arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Qu quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Candy, bagel, ultim, bread, apple, toast, nuck, vector. Vector beat by one point, of course. I did not fall off. I would never fall off. O okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Ugh. The picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see you get the high score, and Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Ugh. He's he's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me who's here now. Uh, I assume it's the used cups that we're gonna use, yeah? I'm an idiot. God damn. I think Knuckles is Ellie in this situation when someone grabs and falls, guys. Alright, let's try this again. This is such a good game, dude. I'm not even like a huge, like, necessarily like a huge Sonic fan, but I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> Come on! Let's try again. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we bloody go! There we go. Good job! I'm ignoring that joke, Fanny, as always. Now, Ali, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? That would be that. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... Um, it's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Ah! Uh, don't... Don't tell Amy! <laughs> I, I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour waiting to, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told, my, told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that, ex well, that explains one of you's cups. What, what is the cup with the lipstick mark on it? That's Amy's, right? Oh, Rogue was in here too. Uh, it's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of her game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play the games, Rogue couldn't find something, and then left, and then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of her qu qu Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, can you take a look one more time? I an odd name on the high score list. What is Tills talking about? Apple bread, Ultim, bagel, candy? Ultim? Probably Ultim? This one? All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? Y you may not know, Ollie, but there's someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Shadow. Th there's someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. Dude, so many people just left their station. That's crazy. It was Rogue there too. I mean, Rogue may have been there, but I don't think Rogue was the murderer necessarily. The lipstick didn't match that I know of. Uh, it looked... Maybe not. Maybe not. Everyone was having a party. Yeah, they all hung out and didn't... <laughs> didn't invite the birthday girl to hang out with them. It's so funny. Um... 
He tossed the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The conductor gave her that stupid special... <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was saying, that's stupid birthday key. No, that's special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rogue searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're going to have to find them and ask them yourselves. Honestly, for like a stream or a video one day, it could be fun to set up like a kind of dining table mystery game with people. Everyone has their own missions to do and stuff, and we see if we can create a story. You're gonna lurk, Penguin. Thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you for being here. Take care. Uh, more information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only be we'll only know for sure when we can confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. That sounds awesome. I think it would be fun. I would need people though. Maybe if I ever go to Montreal or if Ellie ever comes here, because I need people who actually are willing to make stuff. You know. Poor Knuckles, everyone ignored him, got, got beat by one point, yeah, honestly. Um, fair enough, the library is in the next car, I'll open the door, I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I, I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff, come on, Owie, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Owie, coming! Alright, let's go. Ready moves down to the next car? Let's go. You got it. Onwards and upwards, baby. <laughs> Library car. All this stuff's getting heady, heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. Let's ro real quick see the map. So, Sonic died here. We went through the sheriff. We are working on this. So yeah, okay, so these are the four cars, and then I assume conductor car is the final, where it'll be like... You know? Anyway. Sorry. Excuse me, I muted for you guys. If you're onwards, are you the warden from Hit Game? I don't get that bit. I don't get it. I don't get it, Fanny. Fanny, I don't get it! Fanny! <laughs> I haven't- I still haven't played enough 1.19. We, dude, okay, tomorrow, I don't think we're doing on words, we're done. Okay, all right. I don't think we're doing my um, hardcore series tomorrow because I want to try the new April Fool's update, but maybe we'll do it another day if we have time this week. I mean, last Wednesday, we canceled Duck Game. This Wednesday, we, I, I think the boys are playing golf. I don't know if I'm going to be there because I kind of need a break to get some work done. If I end up having time, I'll either join them or I'll, um... I'll do some Minecraft. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It depends. Uh, what's up, Gerald? The Unicorn Live. Welcome, dude. First time chat. Welcome. Okay. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the spot. I'm heading out. You've been fa fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espy and I wanted to give you your presents. Huh? My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, want to join us in finding clues? Flattered, by the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Uh, oh, she's so confident. She must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. <laughs> Bye, Ellie, question mark. Yeah, I can't tell if Ellie left or not. I think he's just lurking, mostly. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. We all know it, of course. Um, <laughs> I'll solve this case before- I'll save- <laughs> I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you do to it? Do, do- what are you do to it? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, just making sure things go well. Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved. I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. 
And I'm Espio, the poet. Uh, wait. The butcher is in the library? Is he the butcher? I thought he was supposed to be, like, the clerk. <laughs> like, the librarian or something. Wouldn't he be in, like, the restaurant or, like, the saloon or something? Uh, anyway. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge a delicate perspective with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? It, sh sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. D D D. Was was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. Maybe he's doing a meet and greet at the library. <laughs> I, I'm okay with that one. That was okay. That was okay. I'll give you that one. Good job. I'll take it. I'll take that one, Fanny. Good job. Good job, Fanny. <laughs> Why is there a butcher on a train? Uh, I think they ran out of rolls. <laughs> At least he's rhyming, I suppose. All we know here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had an everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. <laughs> when we were all sent off, Rogue Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. Rogue Blaze, Shadow. So that's Shadow. That's Sonic. Oh, and then Rogue Blaze. Okay. Thank you, Ari. It's an honor. An honorary pun. Ahaha. Ha, uh, got him. Guys, I don't know how to feel about Fanny being chat. <laughs> Very good, Nick. Okay. They butchered this game. No, this game's awesome, dude. I'm honestly loving this game. I, uh, I love when they just make, just release random shit like this. It's so cool, man. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Sonic, what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rogue? We happened to see her lipstick stain. Lipstick stain. On a cup at the saloon car. Rogue came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. Hydrate. Thank you, Fanny. I needed that actually. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. The game in the game. They added a butcher so they ruined their game. <laughs> well, I think Fanny's better with the pun. Sorry, Struck. Wonder what, she, wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rogue left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why was Shadow- why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car when Knuckles and I were playing games. There's so many things, okay. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the ruling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookcases following us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Dude, there's so much stuff. Uh, enjoy the water, I have to go. Fanny, thank you for dropping in. Take care. Have a good one. Um, and yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with Amy, I'll chop it up for you. <laughs> and if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is an any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to, we need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall, tales, tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Okay. A child hangs... We can see from a tree branch, the large test below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really need to see that. This little child's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, but his truth in the hard way is often the most rewarding. It's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much put thought put into this poster, right? Ooh, brochures. There are tra travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Ollie, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love good over at map. Let's take it. Library card, library map is added. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. No, let's leave it. 
Oh, huh. Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Why do I like caves? What what am I, dude? Uh, Zen BRB. All right. See you in a bit. Uh, all right, you can click on the screens to get some funny banner thingos. Uh, on the screens, huh? The screens. Hang on, let me check this out. Um. Cool. Don't know what the point of this was. Thank you. Oh, the screens. Oh. Okay, there's- wait, there's a couple. Chaos Cola. Okay. Check out our book club. Okay. Book of the Month, Gone Gal. Like, Gone Girl? Interesting. Uh, is that the only one? Yeah, I think it's the only one. That's funny. Uh, what else? There's a lot of stuff to look at. Let's start from right. Okay. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books, but Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Uh, I mean, a, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through, through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a trained library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one, the Mirage Express Manual. It's a user guide to Mirage Express, but the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Okay. This one. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yeah, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even in here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. <laughs> I'll be a bit. All right, Shooky. Let me check something. Let me check something real quick. All right. All right. Thank you for your patience. We are gonna get back into it. Uh, did Afi respond? I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Um, yep. What are we doing next? We need to look for... Alright, globe. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have actually, if you've ever... If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. It, I didn't know Tails was this smart. I always thought Tails was just like the silly little, like, kind of little brother of Sonic or whatever. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Even different dimensions. I honestly, I haven't even watched much Sonic. I don't know the lore much. There must be a lot of references I'm missing. Something's always in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Are we? Are you sad there's nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 I'm alright. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure there'll be something in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Y yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Oh, you're pretty unconventional, but I like it. W was that supposed to be a compliment? Let's talk to the train! What's up, train? Oh, Oh, poor thing, that train's really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it all alone to sing. Yeah, probably for the best. Okay. Um, what else can we see? There's a table. Let's take a pause and sit for a sec. These chairs are really comfy. Very, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Oh, wait, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time murder ruined my nap, nap time... Uh, and I assume this is locked. Spoli walked through the library car before going into the saloon. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Sh Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. Okay. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Let's talk to Espio first. Fancy a poem? Can I get a poem about space? I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste. Dropped the vase from my embrace and my antique I must now replace. Cool. Um, <laughs> what caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Alright. Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignore the 
grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my egg sunny. Oh, wow, uh, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though? My talent is wasted on you lot. Okay. Let's start. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Ali and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if neat. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I was entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we're instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, Espio. <sighs> Okay. Rogue entered the library card, found something, then left. Well, you said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card? Of course he was. Once Espio started reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that. Detective, let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Owie, could you help me out? Alright, Owie, what book do you think Espio may have been reading? I assume it's this one. The one book that we have. Or is it this one? No. Okay. A manual? You think Espio is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? This is a really cute game. I jumped. I hit jump and it didn't jump. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I hit jump. That annoys me. You forced wait me. There we go, now I jumped. Oh boy. Thank you. There we go. Almost double. It would be nice if we got double. I wonder what happens if you don't get enough rings. Does it just not count for the challenge? It might just be like, hey, you messed up. You failed us. You didn't do good enough. Um, which, you know, that's just how it goes. Okay. Um, all right. I'm back. Welcome back, penguin. What's up? What's good? Um, you missed in the first car, so I reckon I'd tell you. Oh, okay. I missed the, uh, I missed one of the screens. I didn't realize. They're silly. They're funny. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. I'll upset this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you. Norm isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey, now, won't you have insulting my pan pal like the- Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. Aw, they're so cute. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Oh, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Let's go with 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Do your events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train. What the heck? Ensuring passenger safe his safety. Seems like SPO aced that question. Oh, we hit him with another one. Okay, which way? Which page do I choose? Uh, let's go for 231. What is the Marriage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, last one, are we? Let's see if SBO can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Let's go for 16. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. Have we? Oh, okay. It's like an autopilot. We, okay. We've kind of heard of it, I think. Uh, I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't ex access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. I hate to say it, but no. 
Haha, <laughs> just goof in your pass. Yeah, I'm glad that they let me do that. I completed your text. I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please, but you joked and japed, said no to my face. Now I feel now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Did he just rhyme a curse at me? You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if it's true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me breeding after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Shadow went through this room at some point. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Ollie? <gasps> he always puts me on the spot. <laughs> okay, Ollie, think. Well, we should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading, but what? Which would be this one. Shadow's lock? Please pray tell what, what ha this has to do with anything. We're up, Ari. Let's get our argument together. Yep. This is cool. This is cool. It's very easy. They didn't make it too difficult. If anything, the hard part is this, which I've been failing non-stop. I should have jumped there, but it's fine. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's like the only one that stresses me out a little bit because I don't know if I'll beat the challenge, but I do it every time. So I think it's not that bad. <laughs> I don't think it's that difficult, honestly. Shadow walked through the library car to get to a saloon car where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. I'm all crocked up over here. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espy was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't even notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car, saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a murder mis- It's a mystery, my dear Ollie. One that I would look for- That I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me! That cooled the meteor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he had, even had me, even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, and I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see reading, then how'd you leave the library car? I, I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Uh... I, well, he's, mm. We accused him once and he was able to prove it. I'd say just join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Uh, Aoi, uh, my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I like how every time you remember it, it's different. Because that's just how memory actually works. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Ah, the library map. Finally. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. One more of these. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time to see if I can make it for the Strand Dig stream. Because, like, obviously, Ellie's not streaming. Uh, he doesn't stream Strand Deep. I only do. So, he doesn't really care if we do it or not. But I feel bad canceling twice in a row for people who are enjoying those streams. So, we gotta decide if it's something we can, oops, if it's something that we can stream today. 
There's no point risking my life right now. Okay. Because it would be fun. The thing is, I finally played a little bit of the tutorial, so I know what we did wrong. Apparently, we had to keep the raft, and if you guys remember last stream, deep stream, but um, yeah. That I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Welcome back, Zen. The library map. Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out exactly where on the map you mean. Where could SP have been for Shadow to not see him? Here, right? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. Hydrate. Thank you, Zen. I can psych in this. When I returned from the saloon car, SP was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. There's a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We, we did it! Another pair of alibis validated. I think they're trying to make Shadow seem like the bad guy, but I don't think Shadow is the bad guy. Even though he thinks of himself as the ultimate one or whatever, which is a very weird thing. But, um, I think it is the conductor. Pretty sure. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rogan, especially Shadow. Oh? It seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's her cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. You killed Sonic? I did it! I didn't do it! I'm gonna bake cookies tomorrow? Yo, hell yeah. Have fun. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Jesus Christ. I cannot wait to get through all my homework, dude. I'm gonna- Yo, yo. Is everyone crossing their fingers for my teacher to give me a, an extension? Because he hasn't emailed me back yet. Keep your fingers crossed, boys, please. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder's on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Okay. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Owie. Let's see what's next. Coming. All right. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Continues. I don't know if there's stuff I'm missing that I should be looking at, but I look at everything before the interrogation, so it doesn't really matter. This is my favorite car, casino car. Looking good. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. What should I draw now? I finished the one drawing. Um, I don't know. I was actually gonna print it out and put it on my wall, but I got a little busy. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so sorry. I just keep yawning. My sleep has been so bad lately. I finally got a little sleep last night, but I still slept at like 4 p.m. Or 4 a.m. Woke up at 4 p.m. Rogue, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, are you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you as well. Uh, please don't let this be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rogue. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure room. It's to be stored here on the train. T treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. That would be funny. It would be funny. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rogue. Alright. Well, it's a Fabergé Shao egg. Wow. That does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Faberge Jay Shao egg is here in this train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what'd you manage to find, Rogue? An egg? Well, a Faberge Jay egg, which are like, I think made of... thing. Oh, Eggman! Oh, you're so right. Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Blueprints. 230401. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints. Please, Rogue, let us see that. Uh, 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 find us, keep us, sweetheart. There's a, there's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? 
The elevator beyond the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé shower egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. S so you want us to help you steal the Fabergé shower egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Looks like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lower card. Her her lower card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Ali, do you have an opinion on this? It's time for a five finger discount. Yeah, baby. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Ali are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé shower egg. Ha <laughs> ha That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must. Now we must plan. Yeah. Oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé shower egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access key. So wait, yeah, access card. So do we attack the guard, bribe the dark guard, or distract the guard? I say we distract because we have a rogue on our team who is gonna steal it. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Oh, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I think it should be Rogue, right? Isn't that what Rogue's good for? <laughs> um... Yeah. Of course, I'll distract them. Who can resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms would be on a Shao. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure even being the distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Let's make it Tails. Sh sure, I could be a distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vito. I'm with Blaze, his delivery was shaky. No, no, no. R really, I can, I can do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'll be better off this way. I can't believe I got it wrong every time. All right, I guess it's the princess, Blaze. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never seen, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great, her voice is so stoic, I have chills. I gotta remember all their personalities for this. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh... What would the princess do? <sighs> I say... Let's push a bunch of poker chips to the floor, right? Or no, let's ask about the partner and kids. Excellent! People love talking about themselves. This will be easily- this will easily distract the guard. Princess would be in another castle. S wrong- wrong franchise, idiot! <laughs> Perfect! I think we'd move on then. With the guard distracted, Rogue will- how will you get the access card? Pick their pocket, obviously. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Shaolin uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rogue. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we can get Blaze out of there. Ollie, what's your plan? Uh... I Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war and crimes I should know about? What? Well, I... Uh... <laughs> you're dressed far too plain. You must need a complete refashioning immediately. Immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! With the card attained... Alright, what do we want to do? Dang, YouTube did. You, did you see this? Ari calls their viewers daily. It's only you. Uh, and everyone else. Um... Let's just say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Pop some apple cider, baby. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security membership we didn't account for. What do we do with the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, high five each one of them. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't giving it away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. What do we do? Um, tie them. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I guess sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and video this. Let's sing something else. Okay. Cool. I keep getting it wrong. I have Tails disabled them. That leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Um, cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this. To say, this plan is perfect. Am I an idiot? Yup. You were part of everyone else? Sorry, mod is in. <laughs> if everyone is ready, it's time to execute. 
Pew, pew, pew. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what's up that elevator. Here we go. We're going to pull off a heist, baby. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And I, it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter, now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code here right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Shao Egg. Hee <laughs> hee! No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, rogue. Alright, sweetheart, let's see. 230401. Oh, wow! It's here! <laughs> I have it! Oh, wow, it's real. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rogue, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened the one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to a secret. Rogue, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Oh! It's a ticking time bomb, baby. Uh-oh. Rogue, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret, because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work. Rogue! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you saying do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Oi, This is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Oh, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have enough time. So it's just, Espia did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. <laughs> Accurate. Okay, um... Heroic arms, they... Oh, yeah, they detect weapons! So it, we wouldn't know if it was an explosive. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as Fabergé Jay Shao Egg, the arms would have detected it, detected it and it wouldn't have been allowed on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either, unless he's Eggman. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. We're about to die. Oh! The egg, it opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all! You both really were onto something. My, my, well that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. They really, they really, uh, <laughs> they, they risked their lives for that one. Oh my gosh. Eee, and look what's inside. Aw. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Shao Egg is a shower covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is quite stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Shao Egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us, I don't know, who, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old egg and age and just kept the secret with them. How first try with all those answers? Dude, I don't know. I saw the silliest one I could think of and I clicked it and it actually worked. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. I also assume that some of the answers you could just click one of them and uh, Tails would have logically figured it out anyway. Good call, let's go. No one seems to suspect anything and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster finder fiend. Okay. <laughs> Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rogue. Rogue? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance, is as I said. Finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you know if to take a- I'll promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we got out of your way now. For now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me Rogue and one of these. He passed through his He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. We didn't even question them. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rogue. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Ari. Let's head out. Okay, so here's the thing. Gotcha. The mystery continues. We never actually questioned any of them. 
Should I give the slot machine a try? Let's play slots. Slots. Big money. I lost. Wait a second. Yep. I lost. Let's try again. I lost. Let's try again. What do you expect? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time. You'll see. I lost. Okay, let's try again. Alright, I lost. Let's try again. Oops. Let's try again. I lost. Let's try again. You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm back. Ari called us idiots. <laughs> Maybe Ari's an idiot? No! You're turning around my, on me. I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Well, I lost again. Do I try again? Yep. Okay. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon? Yes, I know about this. Of course I've heard of it. Why is it? Did they just copy paste the Google definition? No reason. All right, big money, big money. Oh, I lost again. All right. I'll be here for you when you decide you're done. All right, big money. I lost again. 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 No! Please! 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 Guys, I think it's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Oh, thanks goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Want to play some blackjack? Let's play blackjack. Uh, it's easy. We simply don't have time. We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. Okay, let's keep moving. Ready to go? Yep. Let's find Shadow. Let's do this until the game stops us. It won't stop us. It refuses. I did it so many times. Someone just send that clip to Ellie and tell him to remix it. He'll get he'll get so pissed off. Because <laughs> he just keeps getting remixes of people saying the same word over and over again. Remix suggestions. Anyway, now is as good time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly who you've why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I no reasons convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <sighs> I see you made it here, Tails. I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> um, I'd also like to see why... I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Ollie, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Ollie. Dude, we all we all do realize that Sonic's actually dead, right? Like this isn't a joke and Sonic is proper dead and like we aren't putting any effort into fixing that. Ollie, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do this? What if something falls out or where someone leaves out? I just think you should do it. Uh, open it. I'm no bitch. All right, watch a pro. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <laughs> okay, anything in here? Oh, a little lever. Hmm, Tails, you see this? A pull string. Owie, what? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leaves. He's curious, this must mean something big. Sonic is probably asleep, he's very well known. He's very known to fall asleep when he gets the chance. I mean, he said his body was numb, and there was wounds on him, so... Maybe? Maybe. Who knows? This is a library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library! I don't believe it! Shh! Quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Hmm... Espio, looking sus! We need to add that to our inventory. Espio's looking more sus now! There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over those arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no. But I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola? Hmm, nope, not listening to me. <sighs> I'm quite parched, too. I could run and get a co chaos cola for you. Uh, no, 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 I'll, I'll be alright. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one. I'm the only one who's supposed to be working here, after all. Sonic is just so good at acting, he even got rid of his pulse. <laughs> hmm... A key ring must be Shadow's, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? 
Uh, Sonic rowing a boat. Hmm, this printer's tricky, surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. He is able to stop his pulse. I, pulse. I believe the Flash has done that before. Uh, yeah, but Sonic isn't the Flash. They're two different things. <laughs> uh, they told us about this in my. They told us about this in my in interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is a shame to be on the computer and sh missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using a computer here, you must really need to use it. We can't move until we integrate. Okay. Uh, music? It's a big shot band. Uh, play us a ditty. Okay. They don't miss. Those shall really understand music. What have we got left? Uh, let's look around. Uh, trash can, please. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, are we? And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Ari? There's always something in the trash bin. All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. They're both fast though, both have the same abilities. Uh, well, Flash has the speed force or whatever. Like, he has a magic thing in the air. Sonic's just a blue hedgehog that runs fast, from what we know. Crumple paper is added. I think we found enough clues. Let's go integrate chat and find out what really happened. Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stair is so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Oh, we, we certainly will not. Start integration. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking doors. You've been locking every door in this train, and and I know why. Wait, tell. Why was I locking all the doors? Haha! <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map. The next car in the is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car, following? So Shadow was locking the doors for one reason and one reason alone, to keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do! He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so, no so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Some scrub streams- <laughs> what's up? Uh, I don't know why I read your name fully, what's up scrub? Didn't read title was thrown off by Sonic characters. Yeah, we're playing the new Sonic game that came out for April Fools. <sighs> Yawn. Whew. God damn, I'm tired. I need like a big stretch. You know what? Give me a sec. I'm gonna do a big stretch real quick. I need one, man. Ah. All right, I needed that, okay. That makes sense, what Amy is saying strangely enough. Also, it's so dark already. I barely just woke up, it's already dark out. All right. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! I think Ollie and I can explain the car change, however. Ollie, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? That would be you, a hidden passageway. Okay, just get my tots in order. Th my tots, my little tots. All right, here we go. It's 55 the most rings that we're gonna need to get because I didn't even hit space. Because, um, it, 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 it normally goes up by five, and then they stop at 55 for some reason. Oops, missed it. Ooh. Oops. 
we're good. Got it. Less than last time, but we got it. We all good. We chill in space. Slap on your face. I love that my name is just Aoi. I think it's really funny. Aoi and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, safely arrived, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Aoi. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Sonic murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to a station would be suspicious. Sonic picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on his way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! Huh. Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Oh, wait, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Well, Espio's reading. Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Which checks out, according to Amy. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. And nah, it wasn't Shadow. It was 100% Ari or, Aoi or the Conductor. I think so too. I think it's the Conductor. If it turns out to be Aoi, then that, that sucks because I named myself that guy. <laughs> Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, Evan's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Aoi and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Aoi, what Evan supports Shadow's claim that he was giving away keys? That would be this. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. We got all of the things we needed in order. We got all the evidence in the order we needed. Oh, it does go up to 60. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Potentially difficult. Nah, we're cracked actually. I, I don't lose. I'm just good at video games to be honest. Damn it. Oh gosh, it's gonna get real close here. Nope, got it. Nice! Espio could internal invisible, so maybe he couldn't see him because of that. Yeah, but why would he need to? Also, I don't know if they have their powers in this. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys in that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking on the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Ollie and I know exactly why Shadow is locking on the doors. Why does he keep including me too? <laughs> first, Amy and I, first, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay, just them being here- just them being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. Are we? Ah, uh, yes, Tills? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the car- cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Aoi. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow's trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare you? Aoi, show me the evidence. H huh? If Shadow's trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Shadow thinks Shadow's trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that what Amy didn't want... What Shadow didn't want Amy to know? It's the trash. It's- oh my gosh. That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. He forgot to get her a present. Or just didn't know it was her birthday. Okay, it is going up by five. I feel like it didn't go up by five just once. Or maybe I'm just a liar and I just didn't notice. Oops. Ah, oh, damn. 
They actually make it not too difficult to get it every time. There we go. This is a really interesting. This is a really interesting little thing that's going on here. What time is it right now? We want to end at 8. I still think we can do Stranded Deep. Let's see how we go. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in a trash bin next to a printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't... <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favorite. All the memory members have B after their name? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell it in minutes. So the question becomes, why is this paper found in the train car shadow is stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto a website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the- Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder, spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Thank you, my honeybee. Yeah, congrats. Hmm, when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas, and I saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey alive, and I looked it up. That's when I remember- but that's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I kept- I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so that they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to get here. To make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> I like how they just are like, yeah, birthday key. Obviously, idiot. Shadow, I... Your gesture's so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come up with me. You can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Yeah, I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! <sighs> fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <sighs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors have finally sh reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow is behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know this as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Aoi, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The po full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Ready to go to conductor car? Let's finish this, boys. It's now or never. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Conductor car. Should really short out my short out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working in, in my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Let's do this. The arm? No. What happened to the arm? We'll look at that in a sec. I don't know if I saw it. missed something. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm. Should I say something? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm sure. I'm uh, sure they are. Tails was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Let's see this. 
Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joy in your hand, wife by your side. Paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. The arms are messing with things. What are you? This robot arm has been completely torn off. He's laying in the floor. Yeah, Strix saw it first. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm. Okay. The trash. What? I'm all right. I don't need to trash the bin. The bin. You're satisfying with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they always. I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. No. No, no, they're right. We should check. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh no. You look so sad about it. You two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Maybe just leave Aoi alone for a second. <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's heading he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be something. Ah, yes, I wish that too. I clicked too fast. Screen. I've noticed the screens throughout the train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I'd full. I would watch a full movie on this one. On one. I saw a slide that said "Happy Birthday, Amy." That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. Poor Aoi. They didn't need to see an empty can after I guess find a clue. Listen, I find a clue. I shouldn't be sad. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Probably too much detail. All right. This is. I think the last thing. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Do they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, I just just had it worked in a microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I'll completely trust you to drive the train. <laughs> Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, uh, guys. Okay, well, do we have anything else to look at? Ah, there it is. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not throwing darts, it's a blow dart! Someone brought a weapon onto this train! Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make a note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this for one, once and for all. Zen, what's up? Welcome back! How you doing, boy? Well, you two, I think you have enough evidence for me to- Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Ollie? Ready to solve this case? Yeah, let's do it. Hello everyone, this is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to Conductor Car at once. Sleepy, headache, but like, shh. Take a rest if you need, it's all good. Everyone's here. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Aoi. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him, huh? And they're about to realize that they're dead. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been f having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I'm but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha, huh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Sonic is just asleep? I don't think so. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He's, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is popped, propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic's, Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. 
We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. S Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Awi, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Any thoughts, guys? I still think it's the conductor, so I don't think it matters. Um, I will say that... Which one was the one that we didn't talk to in the start? Wasn't there one? Or, like... Wasn't there one who... So, obviously, I don't think it's Tails. I don't think it's Amy. I don't think it's Vector. I don't think it's, uh, the poet, SBO. I genuinely don't think it's Shadow. I don't think it's Knuckles. Who are these two again? I don't remember these two. I think it's the poet. I don't, only because... Oh. Actually... Oh, no, you're right. It could be Espio. They stole the egg. Oh, is this Rogue? This is Rogue. And this is, uh, Blaze. It's Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I'd love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Rest restating Espio Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio is locked in the library card reading. He only had access to a saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Aoi, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time, but as Tails and I found a hidden passage passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits beyond the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaws, reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Ollie and I can explain that too. Ollie? How did Espio think know everything in the train man manual he was reading? Uh, he's a poet, so quick reader. A ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is, a it is possible. Espio is particularly skilled. Espio didn't need a hidden cart passage so he can go invisible. Okay, but I don't think any of them are like actually going invisible here. <laughs> I don't think those are like the skills. Like, I don't think we've seen anyone like do some of the skills that they probably have in the show, you know? Like, isn't Shadow supposed to be super strong and Knuckles and stuff? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he went invisible. Regardless, um, all the doors would have been locked on the way back anyway. So he would need to use a passage to get back. I don't know. It is possible. Uh, I've seen Espio a long time. He, I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the end ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before answering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right, how would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Aoi and I might not have enough- may not have the answer to- Evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, Ollie. Who here is evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow? Shadow would be the, uh... Amy and Knuckles have their weapons, of course he can go invisible. Rogue? You think Rogue has... Rogue would, uh, know that Espio has the information? She has the man. She has the blueprint. She does have the blueprint. But... That doesn't mean she would know that... Espio knew about the hidden passage. I think Shadow makes sense because Shadow would have gone through it. But hmm. I'll try, I'll try Rogue. Rogue, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole the blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> Thanks, Penguin. Penguin's smart, bro. Penguin has been leading this. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rogue had them. Well, Ollie, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, Espio swiped them from the conductor, maybe? There's a code included with these blueprints. I thought those, that was odd. That code is classified information. Could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? I remember a lot of unimportant stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way! In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Aoi and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm not sure how much harm SBO caused Sonic, but Aoi and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blow dart. Now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Aoi. What would Sonic do? Everything in books I yelled at. Oh, sorry. I'll read in a second. Damn. Missed all those. Oops. I'm not doing too well right now. What the heck? Okay. Ooh, just got it. Just about got under under the uh, limit or over the limit. Everything in books I yelled at for writing too much down on my summary of the book. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I would do the same. This blood out was found here in the conductor room. I believe SP uses to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations. Of course I do. Let me prevent the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take this hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Aoi and I have another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh... I guess the arm is the only thing we have left. You would ask me really anything about someone's alibi or no? I mean, yeah, assuming you were there, I missed some of it. Let's say, let's say the roller arm. I don't think this is the right direction. What evidence shows another route SP could have used to move Sonic? Train map? I don't think so. Okay, uh... Blueprints? Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think all we think. Okay. Ooh, 65. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit rough. I jumped! <laughs> he just said big oof. That's crazy. I HIT JUMP, PLEASE! When I hit jump, you jump, boy. You understand? Boy, yo, you little guy. That was a really dumb move. Thank you. Uh, we got this. Do we? Oh, boy. Yeah, we do. Okay. Alright, easy. There's a crack in the tiles I'll break. No, I see that. I just jump and I just don't do it in time and it's dumb. Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route do you take to get Sonic there? There's there's a path above the conductor car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to his blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Do the vent over there? The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Let me check it out. My word, there's a path back there and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the, the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you both realize, I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer, my name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Uh, okay, yeah, it was a broken robot arm. Funny number? Where's the funny number? Oops. Oh my gosh, this is 
hectic. Alright. Oh, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Just about snagged that. The fun number was the amount of rings you had. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't realize that's 69. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty, but what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles, Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look par powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Seems like something you would've noticed. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice it. Normally I do. Interesting theory, Tails. We have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBU yet, but I've found one inconsistency. Uh, someone here received false information. I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? That would be Amy. You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. SBO lied to me. SBO told me... Shadow's locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, SBO? <sighs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yeah, yes. I said, uh, so I was gonna get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. Wh what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than cause doubt and confusion. When examining Everin's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, SBO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <gasps> He's alive! Hey guys, Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio is the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's not a lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. <laughs> BRB Mozzarella sticks are done, hell yeah. I told you he's a live dummy? Yeah, I guess so. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. I knew it! I knew it! I told you! Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? <sighs> no. We don't need to get off this train. We're not safe. W what? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but he was, well, he was telling me I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twist enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is, co is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was a blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop, what are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the arm, robot arms, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. And he saw the poof, he can go invis, ah, whatever. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah, the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. The arms are the evil ones? Yup. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious, why would not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart and Sonic, station in the Coken in the conductor car is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff, see? What is that? It says use this blow dart on Sonic station in the conductor car. Wait, I already read this. What is this? Instructions? 
I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed Staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons should be allowed on the train, which is... What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who... Or what? Oh wait, do you think a... Who do you think attacked Sonic and handed SBO the blow dart? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wants Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad nick and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full tent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself! Uh, Amy, it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer! I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? <laughs> Shadow, be quiet, for real. Oh, boy. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Uh, uh, here, I can get him down. Don't touch him! Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You two, you fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. You know what I'm realizing? This is like the end of uh, Escape Academy. Where were you all rot? Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone, grab something! Which one of these buttons turns the trains off? Train off. Whoa, whoa! Sonic! Ha ha ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Uh, whoa! No, no, no! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Dang. Dang, boys! Uh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, my head, tails, Amy. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Hanging in there, it seems the train arms threw us back into the dining hall. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? I'm doing amazing. Ah, uh, amazing, huh? You must have to share- you must- you might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Hey, one of those robot arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone, the trains definitely mad at us. Good call, we gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. This is what happens when we give robots feelings. True. Alright, what are you? Oh man, what, what's wrong? The windows are all covered up now, I, got, I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train says couldn't be beat, I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in the napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe he confused a napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! Huh. Hope his ticket doesn't, didn't have a ketchup stain. The yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glue, I guess. H hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggmanland, your these problems would need would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Doctor Predictable. The people fear giant spears. It's science. Out of all the Sonic games, I like this one. I agree, I like this one. Let's get to check. Where Chase? Where are my friends? Judging by my security ca cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Welcome back, Zen. We're about to finish this. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to, to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bad nick is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to board. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it, this train really is sentient. 
Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to think... I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I institute a bounty upon my army of badniks. Thanks, Zen. Thank you. First, to capture you pathetic creatures gets a first to capture uh, you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants us to wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like as much as I like reward programs, are you done blathering, Duck? You can never just win silently, can you? When you drag to my base, base you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get out. Get lost. <laughs> Cal. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train is the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so he could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. If Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I didn't try hard enough. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey, I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I- I get it, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think this through. Before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay. We gotta get to the conductor car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified, how do we get through? Well, what would you do? The music change? Yeah, it was kind of nice. I definitely missed something. The train is going to attach to the conductor and sad that it's finally retiring. Yeah, that makes sense. So he wants to live with the conductor for uh, the entirety of its life. Uh, the entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Why'd well, speed through head on and res rescue our friends by any means necessary? Here, stand back. Wow, well, it's one big wind-up. Sonic spin dash is fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants, I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. That's the spirit, let's go find our friends. I think this will be a little wholesome. We just zip through, hit all the doors, kill the uh, train, and move on. Oh, I gotta play. Alright, our friends are locked in the cars ahead. In my last adventure, maxed out my ring count, gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next doors as well. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, it's a full screen game this time. Oops. Uh, oops. Ooh, so close. Not enough rings. That's our first one not getting enough rings. Let's try it again. That hit me? Come on. That hit me, damn it. I mean, I did just run into it, but come on. There we go. Just wait till I see Eggman here. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, this is fun. This is cool. Oops. Oh, come on. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um, alright. Keep moving. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. I knew it would be just like a wholesome, like, alright, let's just go through and, and get everybody. Oh, I missed it. Okay. I missed, like, the big chunk of them. Oops, I shouldn't have even tried that. Oops, okay. Aw, oh, two off, so close. Poet slash ring guy, don't know his first name, was the original game player, yeah. He thought that, or he was told that you had to hit Sonic with a dart. He didn't realize that that was uh, the train trying to kill off Sonic, the hedgehog. Oh, I messed it up again. Okay, there we go. I did not mean to do that. Okay, kick you. All right, chill, chill, chill. 
Ah, oh, that was worse. Let's try again. We're gonna get this one day. One day. SP is not very cultured, not at all. Oh my god! And I'm not very good at this game. Oh, those jumps give me 10 of them. I didn't even notice that. Okay, nice. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Alright, now we gotta get Shadow. It's fine, it's fine. We can bring this back. It's fine, we can bring this back. Oh my god. We're not gonna bring this back, guys. Oh my god. Stop getting damaged, Ari. Jesus Christ, dog. Oh my god. Oh, come on. One off? That's crazy. Even with the amount I got hit, I... I can't believe I was that close. They give you a lot near the end, though. Alright, this is a much better run. There we go. Way better run. Look at that. They locked Damien Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. All right. Only 55 now. Oops. 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 I think we should be fine. Oh my gosh. All right. Jeez. Yeah, that was kind of easy. Sonic. Sonic, you're here. This is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop the train. Time to finish this. Let's go. Excellent work trapping these peasants. Now hurry to me. I must probably dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman land. And probably another death egg. Don't teleport. Wait, don't turn us into robots. Oh, ho, ho, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. Hear that, Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Poor Train just wants to live with the conductor, for real. Missed a big chunk there, that's fine. <laughs> no way, dude! No way! We try again. The train really loved that conductor? Yeah, that's what sucks. It's like... Maybe we'll be able to help the train in the end. Poor guy just wants to hang out with his buddy. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Alright, it's starting to get a little hectic, boys. It's honestly hurting my eyes a little bit because it's scrolling so fast, but we're gonna get it. Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go. Easy. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh, 
I don't think I'm gonna get it this time. Unless there's a lot near the end, because it is not looking good for me, boys. Okay, got it. There we go. Sick! He is a wife chill out, dude. Yeah, for real. And this is another reason why robots don't need feelings. Conductor! You promised me, you promised. Let him speak, unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be together, we'd be with each other forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old, I'm tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop, what are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. Shh, we have to rescue conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Oh. OG Sonic style beatdown? Yeah, for real! Yo, what's up, Cap? Welcome. Calm down, train. A flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Alright, here we go. Our full power, boys. So hectic. But I'm a pro gamer, I don't lose. That's how we do it. Oh my gosh. Just about. Just about. My eyes? Yeah, my eyes too, boys. It's uh Oh my gosh. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah, it's getting it's getting rough. Just just be delivered to Eggman already. What about what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish, H how, how dare you? Oh gosh, a hundred rings, boys, please. Oh gosh, okay. Just keep moving, just This is where it gets interesting, boys. This is where it gets interesting as heck. Come on, we're so close. Ah, oh, try again. It hurts and Ari can, can't look away. Yo, Sega got rough with this, boys. They, they jumped to make it difficult. They started off so chill, and then they were just like, nah, we're gonna make it this Give me that, there we go. That's it, let's go! I think that should be the end, yeah? 100 rings? Or, nah, but normally you have like, you have to hit the train three times. I don't know how you can handle it. My eyes, yeah. If you guys are watching on a phone, this might be easier. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll grab the flicky, flicky. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Bonk. Nice. We did it. That's what you get for being selfish. The train's slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. <laughs> that was a cute moment. It was a cute moment. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the t trouble.
I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Aww. I love games like this. This is a good game. This is a good bloody game. Alright. What now? We did it! Well, I'll say, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't like parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged, unhinged way of thinking. I love when they use the word unhinged. Honey, you're late! I've been waiting here for hours! Ha <laughs> you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Ha 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 ha. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the mo morning and you need a pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Aw, this is so cute. Aww. His wife is kind of... Come on. Struck with e every female ever. Um, seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Ha ha ha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Flippy found a fr Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I seriously, sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. S Speed of Sound. Regardless, I'm sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot what we- I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing the detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd you go? Everyone guess what? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought! Ah, birthday cake! Happy birthday, Amy, to the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. To, a, to the adventure of a birthday, darling. I'm also hungry. Or, like, I'm I'm pretty hungry, yeah. Uh, oh, it's already 8.40. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose, lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if personality is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys, we almost got burned by a lonely train, but but I wouldn't train these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys will never leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please, dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. Oh my gosh. That train's never making it here, is it? <laughs> let's go, Dad! Aww. Orbot, prepare a bat. The happy rubber ducky or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! I'll probably have a little snack, uh, and then I think we're gonna still do Stranded Deep, I think. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeing moment, and then back to things as they were. Seize realized Eggman was ri running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I quit my job. And then, one million's in the lottery. And after all that, I flo flew to space. That's just been my life. Okay, please tell me you're gonna snip that bit of the VOD, but I don't want recode of me yelling for- What are you talking- I don't know what you're talking about, Struck. <laughs> you finally did it! The murder of Sonic Hedgehog was done by Espio, and then almost done by Train Eggman. Yay! Oh, okay, Ellie's- Ellie's canceling Stranded Deep. If you're up, we can- If you're up by now, we can- Okay, uh, I think, yeah, Ellie said he's taking a nap, so, um, I guess I'm gonna eat, and then after that we'll see what I want to do, because, oh wait, he's typing. If he's here, maybe we stream. Am I simping for the conductor's wife cut it out? Nope. I'm up, but I'm too tired for it, I don't think I have the brain for it, crowd for it. Okay, 
Uh, Ellie wants to relax. I think it's gonna be fun because he's he's still tired even though he's not napping. But um, I think I'm gonna grab some food. We will just play some Fall Guys off stream and chill. So that means that this is actually going out. Uh, oh, you know what? Funnily enough, this is gonna go out the same day as Hi-Fi Rush Part Five, which I think is the same stream that we had decided to play this game. So. <laughs> So anyone who watches on VOD, they're gonna watch this, and then they're gonna watch the, later that night. They're gonna watch Hi-Fi Rush, where I decide to play this. So that's a little funny. I'm pretty sure, unless we decide to play this part four, but I think it was part five. Um, I gotta go, gotta sleep. Stroke, thank you for being here. I know that my streams have not been working for you lately, so I'm glad you were able to make it to one. Have a good night. Um, good job to all these people who made the credits. We can speed it up a little bit. Uh, we'll see if there's any extra after credits scene or anything, but either way, it's nice to go through and just show off all the people who worked on this. Um, crazy. I mean, they put so much work into it, really. Um, you're saying goodnight, YouTube. It's this. I'm posting this on an afternoon. It's 2 p.m. for them, so. <laughs> Unless they're not living in, like, EST time, but... Yeah, good job to all the people at Sega who worked on this. This is an amazing, um, amazing uh, game. And the fact that they made it just for a bit is really funny, like just for a little April Fool's joke. Um, but I mean, hey, it ended up not being really a joke. It was just kind of a game that they made that they just decided to post. And like, I think the whole joke, thank you, Sega, for letting us make this game. And thank you for playing. Happy April Fool's Day, observed. Yeah, so it was an April Fool's joke. Because, like, the, I think the joke was someone murdered Sonic, and they were like, oh my god, Sonic's dead, and they make it seem like Sonic's actually dead. But then it ended up being just a wholesome, like, really genuine game. I'm glad I got to play. Thank you to everyone for watching. It was a lot of fun. This was a really fun game. Um, <laughs> it's It was beautiful. It was genuinely just a beautiful game. I liked it. So, uh, YouTube, I think we're gonna knock you out of here. Goodbye, see you tonight for Hi-Fi Rush, see you tomorrow for Minecraft, um, and we'll do Stranded Deep again soon, maybe. If if we end up not, just if we just feel like, you know what, we're not in the mood for Stranded Deep anymore, we just won't try again, and we'll we'll figure something else out, because um, obviously, I think the content's more fun when we want to play, but at the moment, I feel like I want to play, so we'll see how we feel next Sunday. Um, I also do need some breaks right now, like I said, I probably won't be streaming Wednesday, even though my friends are, so I do need a couple breaks just to keep up with school. So, um, I might just take breaks on Sunday instead. Uh, we'll see what happens. Because I do take breaks on Friday, but that's it. That's about it. Thank you all for so much for watching on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Goodbye.